So you're gonna start on the chorus essentially then? Uh, yeah, and, and actually, so it'll it'll start like this, and it'll start like with just uh, bass and guitar. Okay. So like. So on the like second, a, like a, so like on the last one. Yeah. So get ready, get ready to lose what you love. And then just the other little, um, there's gonna be a little pause twice. Yeah, that stop, that stop and start, that's awesome. And then right there is the bridge, and then it's F, F, C, G. <laughs> both ways make sense. It totally yeah, you just it just uh, it both ways are totally intuitive. Yeah. Alright, we'll do it from the very top. Okay. very much to recording this next record. It'll be the third record that I've done with my cousin Luke, my partner in crime. And um, it's gonna be an interesting process, I think. I think we're gonna approach things a little bit differently and try some experimentation. And I'm looking forward to trying something different. Luke and I have recorded a lot together and we've done a few records together. And it's always a really fun process. I feel like we've got a good working relationship. We understand uh, that he understands I have his best interest at heart and I want to make the best record possible. When I first started recording um, almost 20 years ago uh, with a little four track that I had bought, uh, just recording in my room and, and coming up with songs. And, and um, I remember bringing, bringing the four track and everything it was on, you know, it was one of those tape four tracks. So like a little, like an old tape and you used it. And I remember bringing it to cousin Luke and he had a CD burner back when a CD burner was this whole unit, you know, and cause I wanted to be able to put it on a CD so I could listen to it. And I remember bringing the four track with these songs that I had written and being nervous. And like, I'm trying to I'm trying to write these songs. But I knew at that point, like, okay, if he can write the music, then I'll record it. And at that point, I had never recorded anything before. I definitely was interested in music, was an avid record collector, avid show goer, but didn't do recording. He was um, really supportive right from the beginning. And he, you know, we started scheming right away on how to make things sound better, how to take these raw songs and give you know put legs underneath them. I knew if he if the if his songs were that strong, I wanted to be involved with it uh, because I was a huge fan uh, instantly, um, and I felt like that was an area where I could develop. It sort of snowballed from there, where we started trying to get better equipment, better microphones, just to to give the songs the platform that we felt they deserved. He knows how to do things that I don't know how to do. And so it's the perfect partner to help me kind of achieve the finished product. Over the years, we got better stuff and got a better space. And we built this studio, like literally like built it and then started recording. I trust his judgment and ears and he's just got good taste. And it's just a good working relationship. And we're cousins, so we've seen each other at our worst. We've seen each other at our best. We've wrecked motorcycles together. We've gotten bloody noses and we like anything you can imagine. There's no, there's no out of bounds. There's no hurt feelings. It's just whatever's good for the project. With Will, I don't want a computer to sing his song and I don't want a computer to play his, uh, play the drums or play the banjo. Um, I want to set a mic up in front of it and capture it as cleanly as possible. 
uh, while keeping it as real as possible. We have the time to do it, and I don't care how long it takes. I want it to be right. And in the end, that's what's most important to me. It's taken me quite a while to write the songs for this record, and I've really tried to take the time to, to craft songs in a certain way. It's going to be interesting to, to bring to the studio, experiment with different sounds and, and different instrumentation, to bring some people in and get some different ears on it, get some different angles on a song. And in the past, it's actually been some of the coolest parts of songs. So I'm ready to, to do more of that. Before, like especially with field songs, we went at it where like it's going to be a sparse record and it's going to come across as a sparse record and there will be no additional instrumentation. I feel like on this record, Will will play with other people that he's played with live in the past as opposed to just recording him by himself. Will is a storyteller. He's a songwriter that's telling a story, but that doesn't mean that there can't be uh, really interesting instrumentation as well. I mean, I go down to the farm and I write these songs and I come up with a basic structure, but knowing that I can come here and freely experiment, try different guitars, try different sounds. You try it a certain way. Should this be slower, faster? Should it be on banjo, guitar? Um, should it be just vocals? And you hear it and, and sit with the playback for a little bit and decide, oh no, it should be like this. Uh, which is a luxury I never had before. I do like to sit and listen to something and allow uh, the record to, to blossom and develop. And working with Will especially because um, besides being cousins and, and we're friends and, you know, there's the artist and engineer relationship, but I trust Will and I feel like Will trusts me. And... Um, Neither of us have any problem stating our opinion, and there is no wrong answer. We can come to the right answer together, and we're not going to get our feelings hurt. I feel different than I did 10 years ago. Like, the songs that I was writing 10 years ago aren't the same as the songs I'm writing now. And if they were, there would be something wrong. So when I pick up a banjo or a guitar now, I, I can approach things in a different way and not feel as constrained by, by other factors. And it's kind of freeing. It, it just makes me feel free to, like, I can write a song about anything I want. In fact, I just played a show last night, and I tried a new song, and people really liked it. And so um, it's nice to just, um, yeah, try something out on a real live audience, and you just, you wonder, is this going to land? Is this going to work? And people really enjoyed it. And that gives me the confidence to try more things and, and push things a little bit more, push boundaries a little bit more. And um, as I've said, I mean, it's going to be me. It's gonna, there's going to be banjo, there's going to be guitar, and there's going to be a kick drum, because <laughs> that's what I like, uh, and I'll always like that. Um, but within those parameters, there's boundaries to be pushed, and that's in, in, those, um, in those margins, I think that's where some of the interesting stuff starts to happen. I think people will be ready to hear whatever I've got to offer, and that trust is really makes me feel good. I want to make something that people enjoy, that I enjoy. And I tend to write an album as a piece, uh, as opposed to songs, uh, song by song. And it helps me kind of put it together um, conceptually to think of the album as a whole. Each song will flow into the next and hopefully fit together like pieces of a puzzle. I think it's going to be different than anything I've ever done, but hopefully still fit within the body of work in a way that makes sense. Awesome. Yeah, it's awesome, easy. guys. That rules. I've watched Will wreck a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs>